so I'm filming a writing Q&A today. I received some questions from my friends that I thought that I would answer in this video, so let's get started. So the first question is, for Lost Girl, what Hogwarts house do your characters belong in? Authors tend to try and figure out what Hogwarts house their characters belong in, and honestly, I haven't given it any thought. Um, Sienna is probably either in Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff because she's very much like me and I'm a Ravenclaw and I feel like I kind of fit into the Hufflepuff um, house as well. I don't know, so she's either a Ravenclaw or a Hufflepuff. Spencer... Probably... A Ravenclaw as well. Probably. Um, Kylie, Gryffindor, Ivy, Gryffindor, Gabe, I feel like it's a little bit of Slytherin, but I feel like also Gryffindor. I don't know. So, that's that. Number two, um, what song had the most impact on your writing? Okay, so I'm gonna do for Lost Girl because it's really the only playlist that I have for writing. So I'm just gonna play a song and jam out to it for a minute. Because what else do I love to do? Nothing. So I have like two. So I have one that I listened to a lot while I was writing. Um, and then I have one that I recently discovered within the last few weeks that I haven't really been listening to. But that I, but that I now really associate with Lost Girl and I think would really help me when writing it. And I'll definitely be listening to it when I... Um, do my second draft so i'm gonna listen to the one that i actually listened to when i was writing um which is say something i'm giving up on you And the newer one that I have recently discovered is I Hate You, I Love You by Nash, or Ganache, featuring Olivia O'Brien. Number three is, what's your goal for NaNoWriMo? So I've talked about this before, but my goal for NaNoWriMo obviously is to write 50,000 words of Rewind, um, and my other goals are basically just to write every single day, uh, maybe do a little vlog clip every single day for my monthly writing vlog, um, and just get a big chunk of the first draft of Rewind done. The next question is, what are your favorite names? So, I don't know if she's talking about like favorite character names, my favorite character names that I already have, or names for characters that I want to have. Um, I will answer it both ways. My favorite names of characters that I have are Avalanna and Caro. They're from my fantasy novel that has yet to be written, but I love them so, so much. And I don't even know why. They're just names that I instantly connected with and that I instantly fell in love with, especially Caro, because Caro just came to me in an instant because I saw a picture on Pinterest and I had an instant scene idea to write and I wrote it down and I needed a name and Caro just popped into my head and it was perfect and it never will his name ever be changed because it can't be anything but Caro. Um, names for characters that I really want. I want a character named Valak um, because I was watching The Conjuring 2 and the demon's name is Valak um, and I just really like that name for like a villain or something. 
Yeah, I don't really know. Next question is, what genres do you plan on writing in the future? So right now I've written a contemporary book. I'm about to write kind of a contemporary book, which is Rewind, but it has some magical elements in it, so I don't really know what you would classify that book as, but I don't know. Um, I want to write fantasy. I have an idea with Ava and Caro. I just need to find a plot and actually write it. Um, I want to write a horror book. So yeah, I want to write horror and fantasy. Next question is, what is your favorite genre? My favorite genre to write is contemporary, I suppose, because that's all I've been able to write. What, in your opinion, are good writing apps? I've talked about this a bit before, I think. Um, I have one on my iPod, which is called... A novel idea and it's really really cool basically you can um, just get onto it basically you can put different novels you can put scenes characters locations ideas there's details about each novel and it's just really helpful but there's also one for Android because this one's only for Apple there's one for Android that is basically the same thing but it's character planner um, I recommend both writing apps so you can get them the next one is, how do you think of your characters? I don't really know. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I just think of a name, think of a character. I know that's like not helpful, but it's the truth, you know. Like for Rewind, originally I wanted Jo to be completely obsessed with the 1950s and I wanted her so it'll be very much so like her mom where she loved the 1950s and you know she wanted to go to the 1950s so originally it was going to be her wanting to go to the 1950s and as I was trying to plot it I realized there was really no room for character development with the way that I had set up her character and so in that instance I had to change her character and I was like okay I want her to be like this at the end or something very similar to this at the end and so she needs to start off completely different in the beginning so I'm like okay I'm gonna make her um, a stuck-up popular girl who wants nothing to do with what her mom likes in the 1950s and she doesn't want to go there and then she ends up being taken there against her will and that was just how I did that. I don't know, I base them off my friends sometimes, so I, that's how I come up with my characters. Base them off people that I know, you know, things like that. The next question is what kind of character is the most fun to write? I don't really know because I think the meaner characters are more fun to write just because it's kind of it's kind of fun. Um, I wrote one scene for my fantasy novel. It's not plotted. It's probably not even going to end up into like the final book. But I wrote it at school one day because I decided that I wanted Ava to be like a psychotic type of person. I wanted her to be crazy. And so I wrote this scene where she was just like absolutely like gone. Like she was absolutely crazy and she was just like laughing maniacally and it was so much fun and so I think that's gonna be my favorite character to write or like favorite type of character to write but you know writing the fangirl is fun too. Sienna is a total fangirl so that's also really fun to write. Next one is any snacks and drinks you like to have while writing? Yes, I like to have pop or hot chocolate when I write because pop has caffeine, you know, it gets me going, um, keeps me awake, keeps me concentrated, and hot chocolate just tastes real damn good. Nothing else to it. Um, for snacks, I like chips, um, I like candy, <laughs> things like that. Next question is, when did you start writing? I've been writing since I was five or six years old. Ever since I could write, I have been writing. I have said this before. Um, writing has always been my life. It hasn't always been my goal in life. I used to actually want to be a teacher when I was older, um, but that quickly, quickly changed after I discovered that I hated school and writing became my main career um, goal in life. Um, and it's been that way ever since probably I was seven or eight, but I've always liked to write stories and yeah, I just love it so much. Um, did a book inspire you? Um, I don't think so. So yeah, no, I don't think any particular book inspired me. I've always loved to read as well for as long as I've been able to. 
what was your first story you remember writing? I remember I was gonna actually grab it before I did this video, but I forgot. Um, basically, it was a story called Max Had a Great Tooth Adventure. Um, I remember I was sitting at my um, kitchen table when I wrote it. And I remember writing the title and I remember starting it out like, there are some things that I have vivid memories of and I have a vivid memory of that and every time I like read the title and the first sentence I'm instantly brought back into that moment and I can remember the exact moment that I wrote it and um yeah so that's the first story I remember writing I believe I put it into my reacting to my old stories video um so you guys can go check that out how do you write so fast? So this is from a reader's world and we, during NaNoWriMo, do writing sprints. And I tend to get a lot of words done in our short period of time that we do writing sprints. And the reason that I write so fast, there's two reasons. First, I type really, really fast. I'm a really fast typer. Um, the second reason is because most of the things that I write are crap. Let's be real here, it's crap. Um, but the main thing is just I'm a really fast typer. The next question is, do you base any characters off of people from your life? Yes. Um, especially in Lost Girl, um, I got really lazy because this is my first book that I actually thoroughly plotted out and I did not like creating characters. I still don't like creating characters like really in depth, so that's why I haven't done that with Rewind. I just don't want to. Um, but with Lost Girl, I was really lazy and I didn't want to create characters, so I basically looked up a character profile and I like texted it to my friends and I was like, answer these questions for me. Like I might like tweak them a little bit, but this is your character. So on and then there are some people that I pull in from my life that aren't necessarily my friends, people that I've met in life, you know, things like that, and I pull in their personalities a bit or the experiences that I've had with these people, so I do. I haven't done that lately, but I do. Have you ever felt any extreme emotions while writing a scene? And if you have, what emotion did you feel? Great question. So when I was writing Lost Girl and I wrote the breakup scene between Spencer and Sienna, I knew it was coming. I just didn't expect to be sad about it, but I was very upset by it because I shipped with them so hard and I didn't want them to break up. But when the breakup came, I found myself crying. Like, I actually found myself crying. I had tears falling down my face and it was very, very emotional. The next question is, what is something you hate about writing? Hmm. I hate creating characters for my story, but then something that I physically hate doing while writing, um, I kind of hate dialogue, like, I like dialogue, you need dialogue, but I'm not very good at it sometimes, and I just find I have this huge string of dialogue that really has no importance, but it feels stupid to, like, not have it there, but again, I also hate writing descriptions sometimes because... I don't know, I really, something I love about writing is I love writing inner monologues that go with people's heads. I love writing my protagonist's thoughts and what they're thinking while something is happening to them or like how they're feeling. I'm very good with that, I feel like, and I love doing that, but I hate, you know, writing what's happening. You know, oh, he moved over there and he opened the door. Like, I hate that, I don't know. What draws you to storytelling? I don't know, I just love to tell stories. I love to create something out of nothing and create a story from it. Yeah, I don't really know. I just, I've always loved it and I can't really pinpoint what makes me drawn to it. I don't know. Do you enjoy writing the more emotional or funny scenes? Emotional. Um... A lot of the things that I write are quite emotional. A lot of the short stories that I've written or poetry that I've written has been quite emotional. I do write a lot of emotional scenes, like in Lost Girl, there's a lot of emotional scenes. Um, and it's... I love writing them. I don't know why. I really love the funny scenes as well, but I kind of hate writing them. Like, I like reading back on them because it makes me laugh. Like, I found a scene the other day that made me really laugh from Lost Girl. But, um... 
so I like reading my funny scenes. I don't like writing them though because my sense of humor in real life is funny faces and weird sounds. And so it's hard to translate my humor onto the pages. I need to like fake be funny and I can't really do that very well. So the emotional scenes are a lot easier to write for me and I enjoy them a lot more. What is the most you've written in a day? I have written like physically sat down and wrote over 5,000 words. I don't know the exact number, but it was between five and 6,000. Yeah, I'm a superstar. Could you? Do you find pleasure in writing nonfiction sometimes? Not particularly. Um, if you guys have been watching my writing vlogs, um, especially September's writing vlog, you would know that I was writing an anti-bullying story um, when I was 12 and I recently picked it back up to give to my friend for her birthday um, and to also just give to my other friends if they wanted to read it. Um, I would just like email it to them. So that was a non-fiction, um, strictly like facts either about my life or facts about bullying and people who committed suicide from bullying. So, you know, I, I enjoyed doing that when I was doing it, but I had to stop. Like, I never actually finished it when I was writing it years ago because I wanted to return to fiction. So, I don't really like doing it, and I don't do it very often. I don't really see myself doing it in the future. Fiction is where my heart is at. Is it difficult for you to kill off characters, or do you show your characters no mercy? Okay, so I've really only killed off one character. Yeah, I killed off a character in Lost Girl. I don't think I've ever said this before. I killed somebody in Lost Girl from a car crash. Um, I'm not gonna say who. Only two people, not including myself, know, and that's because I accidentally spoiled them. Like, I didn't even mean to. I don't really take pleasure in it. I don't enjoy doing it. Um, like, I felt really bad killing off this one character, and I definitely cried, especially when rereading it, when I was, um, editing it. Um, it was very emotional, but I don't plan on killing characters very often in the future, because I, I don't really like it. Do you like naming guy or girl characters more? I think girl characters, I don't know, I don't, I don't really have a favorite I like girl and guy names, so it doesn't really matter to me. What is your naming process? Basically, I just go on to Google and I type in baby names. If I want like a unique name for like a fantasy novel, I'll put unique names. Or I'll put in fantasy names. For Rewind, I put in popular 1950 names. Um, I did that for the last names as well, you know. I don't, normally I don't just come up with a name. If I already have a name that I like, then I'll use it if, it, if I feel like it fits. Do you tend to write longer or shorter books? Unfortunately, shorter books. Lost Girl is about 240-ish pages right now, um, and I'm just like at the very end of the first draft. Like, all I have left to do is read through it and send it off to my friends and the first draft is done. So definitely shorter than longer at the moment. I mean, I've only written one book. Um, that's the longest thing I've ever written in my life. Normally I stop at like 60 pages, so, you know, I'm hoping Rewind is going to be 300 to 350. I'm hoping, you know, I don't know. What is your favorite type of scene to write? The emotional scenes, 100%. Do your characters and their personalities come to you before the writing, or do they reveal themselves throughout the story? Okay. So, before I start writing a novel, I obviously plot it out. I am definitely a plotter, although I used to be a pantser. I'm definitely a plotter now, because it works better for me. Um, and I try to have a vague sense of who my characters are. Um, for Lost Girl, I went as, like, I did all the character profiles for my characters because I really wanted to know them because I thought that was the best way for me. But I found I never really looked at those while writing. I kind of just wrote them how I wanted to. Whatever felt natural, that's what I did. And, um, 
you know. For Rewind, I really haven't done any characterization at all, and I feel like their personalities are really gonna come out while I write, and, you know, I kind of know who they are, like, Joe is stuck up and popular, Peter is very, you know, loyal, and he's very nice and sweet, you know, you know. I know vaguely who they are before I start writing, but their personalities definitely come out more when I'm writing. Those are all the questions that I have. I felt like I had more, but I don't. So thank you guys for watching. If you want me to do another writing Q&A in the future, I really, really want to. So leave me your questions down below or on my Twitter or on my Instagram. Those are both linked down below. So please leave me questions and I will do another writing Q&A. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!